Donald and I played together. Mac, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Mac, can you hear me? You made it up. I'm taking your phone the invite. Hey, how are you doing? All right, we'll see you guys. All right. On, but it's, it's the beacon. Boom. <laughs> oh my God, they're both full. Right. I like to take four or five days away from the sandwich and the rear car. Oh boy.
tallied over 250 points on the lacrosse field in four years, twice earning All-American honors with a third nomination expected in the next few weeks. But LaSalle's Dylan O'Donnell always knew he had big shoes to fill with the Rams, a program your Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses hometown sports hero grew up in. He closed out his All-American career with LaSalle's sixth straight state Division I title. Dylan O'Donnell outdoing his three cousins who helped create the foundation for the Rams lacrosse dynasty. When I was little, I just kind of always looked, at, looked up to them and wanted to be like them, be the one uh, out there making plays out here and winning championships like them. So it's a great feeling to be able to come to LaSalle and uh, win four championships. And uh, especially with my uncle as a coach, it's, it's been a great ride. I'm just thankful for all of it. Donald's success not limited to the lacrosse field. The Tackman earning LaSalle's Principal's Award for his work in the classroom. He's a leader, and not just on the field. Academically, he does what he does. He's 102.7 adjusted GPA, either 33 out of 34 on ACT test. But more important, he and all these seniors were part of these things called the beehives. Some of, one of them is a three-sport athlete, football track and lacrosse. Most of them are two sport athletes, play hockey and lacrosse, football. So Dylan had done that, but he changed in his junior year to be more of an advocate for students. He was the manager of the hockey team, and he ran this beehive where they're all in the stands supporting all the teams that play in the South. So um, my hat's off to him, um, to his parents, who raised a pretty good kid, and it's just fun watching them thrive. Dylan will keep all of his skills in the neighborhood, joining teammate Evan McGreen and committing to play next year at Providence College. Chris Gabrielli's Friars enjoying one of the best seasons in school history this spring, falling by a goal to Marquette in the Big East title game. They were kind of my first choice the whole time, pretty much, right when I committed as a sophomore. Uh, I love the campus, love the coaches, and uh, really love the close proximity to home. My parents and everyone could come to the games and rep Providence College. I've always been a fan of the Friars, so it's great to be able to go there and uh, represent them next year. He's going to have to hit the weight room. He's going to let his body adjust to that. But I think because he's so intelligent, he's also a very intelligent lacrosse player. He has great IQ, so he knows how to play. And sometimes if you don't weigh 220 pounds, it doesn't matter. They know how to play, and they know how to play within a structure. So I think that will translate to great to a Division I program.